Hey guys, welcome to the video for the final boss of Dark Hours, Razorback. This video will show you how to do all the adds positions on this boss. It will also give you an overview of the encounter so that you know what to look for and what is going on during this boss. The first thing we show you in this video is where to get the last key. After you run through the tunnel from the Buddy and Lucy encounter, go to the left hand side. There is a burger sign and underneath it you will see the box for your key. For all ads positions, you want to run your all red DPS build. The two specializations that are used on this boss are survivalist and demolitionist. As far as weapons go, you can use a rifle, assault rifle, SMG, or even shotguns for this encounter. You should always run a reviver hive, and a secondary skill can either be foam or a turret. When your team is ready and roles have been sorted, the healer will throw their hive out this window. Your team will then jump and kill the first set of adds. Do not stray too far from the front of the encounter. You want to stay with the healer and the rest of your team. Pushing ahead too far could accidentally trigger the start of the encounter. Once the first set of adds is dead, your team can set up. There are four corners with four SAM sites labeled one through four. Each corner will have one ads person and one gen person. On ads one, you will have ads and the chunga coming from on top of the truck. The other spawn is going to be through this window. There will also be ads that spawn above this building between one and two. At the second ads position, ads and chunga will come over at the top of the truck and above the boxes. For ads three, the ads will come through the door above and the chunga will come out of the door in this building. Ads three has the shortest distance from the chunga to the SAM site. This means you need to be more aware of the chunga because you have less time to kill him. The second ad spawn is by this door. On ads four, the ads in the chunga will come through this door and the second ad spawn is through the window. Whichever ads position you are on, you're going to need to listen for the siren of the SAM site. When you hear the siren, you should look back and check if your SAM site is glowing orange, which means the chunga is interacting with it. You need to run immediately to the chunga and shoot him in the butt. The reason we do this is because the chungas do not have any butt plate armor and it is easiest to kill them this way. If you do not kill the chunga in time, he will wipe the team and you will have to start the encounter over. These are your main responsibilities as an ads person, is to kill the ads and make sure the chungas do not wipe the team. You will need to be aware of Razorback's armor bar. During the first half of damage phases, there will only be one chunga that spawns, but once his damage goes down to the middle, there will be two chungas that spawn after each damage phase. Once the encounter begins, you will start to have ad spawns. You can use your foam to hold the ads in place so you can kill them easier. Once your ads are killed, you should have two each phase. You can come to Razorback and help do damage to weak points and the top. When Razorback opens, there will be two weak points on the front and two weak points on the back of Razorback. The orientation of front and back 
is that one and four have the front of razor back and two and three are at the back. Damage phase will usually be determined prior to starting the encounter and it will rotate from back to front to back to front. Since this first damage phase will be in the back, we are only going to prep the two front weak points. Prepping the weak points means that you only break one of them completely and leave another with a sliver so that you can easily break it on the next turn. The weak points in the front are on little wings that pop out once Razorback opens. There is one on the left and one on the right hand side. When the damage phase for Razorback is done, you will see red mortar circles appear under your feet. This will happen after every damage phase. He will shoot two mortars at all the players. You can either hide from these mortars behind trucks or big pieces of equipment, or you can run from them. If you are running from the mortars, do not tactical roll or reload as this will slow you down and the mortars may hit you. Immediate medical assistance needed. Agent out of action. When you hear the sirens, make sure to check and see if the Chunga is at your SAM site and call for help if you need it. Sometimes there will be ads that spawn with the Chunga, and if you let someone know that you need help, they can help shoot the ads while you make sure the Chunga is dead. When it is time for front damage, you will break the nodes that were prepped and start shooting the top so that you can do damage to Razorback. Vital science critical. When you are prepping weak points, make sure you communicate with the other side to make sure you are only breaking one of them. If someone breaks their weak point first, tell the other side so that they know to stop shooting. Once the final damage phase is completed, and you see that Razorback has no armor, he will start to shoot mortars. You will then be instructed to return back to your SAM site. You will wait at your SAM site and look at the blue screen. The siren will go off, and you will have to shoot the screen when it turns red. Once the screen turns red, you can shoot it until the armor bar is gone and the console explodes. If you cannot destroy your console in enough time, 
you will wipe and you will have to do the encounter all over again. Once all the SAM sites have been destroyed, you will be able to collect your loot and your last key will be in the loot pile closest to Razorback. You can then hit the box and see if you get the Eagle Bearer, and you have successfully completed the Dark Hours raid. Now we are going to look at some of the clips from the ad's position on 2. Oh. Again, once your ads are killed, you can get to Razorback and be ready to shoot the weak points. For 2 and 3, the weak points on the back of Razorback are on the tower itself. Once the weak points are broken, the top damage point is in the same place it is on the front. Changa too. Two is dead. Here are some clips from the ads three position. Ready on one. Ready on four. Ready on two. Ready on three. Okay. On gins in three, two, one. On gins, on gins. Window. Oh. 70%. Chunga three. Chunga's down. I hear a dog. Dog on three. Three. Hey, back to your sands. Down. When your SAM site has been destroyed, you can always run to a different corner to try to help them so that we know that the team does not wipe. Four is down. Two is dead. Two. Here are some clips from the ads four position. To be noted, Ads 4 tends to be the most difficult place because the person on gens is the drone killer. This person does not have much DPS, and on Ads 4, you do not get much help from them. Everyone's good? Yep. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Hive is out. Go, go, go. 
Ready on one. Ready on four. Ready on two. Ready on three. Okay. On gins in three, two, one. On gins, on gins. Window. Oh. 70% exposed. Right for Back to Sam. Three's down. Going to four. Four is down. Dead good. Incredible work. Through the airport, take Incredible work. Black Tusk's experimental weaponry. We'll get a team to sweep the area and recover whatever they can. There's bound to be intel and equipment we can put to good use. 